Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Flipper, day four of a day in the life of an online reseller. I'm going to have a big day today, we're going to go out and do some furniture flipping. So I've got two pieces of furniture to grab off Facebook Marketplace, we're going to go to some op shops like we always do. We're going to come back, we're going to clean the furniture, I'm just going to show you all this because I get a lot of questions in the comments below. So um, hopefully you get a bit of a kick out of this episode, I'm going to get straight into it because we're literally only about half an hour away from picking up our first piece of furniture. So subscribe and like and let's go. So really happy with that first Facebook Marketplace collect, guys. Um, it was a bedside table. I, I generally work off the bedside tables when I'm buying furniture because they just move really well and you can get them at a fairly cheap price. That one cost me $50. I will show you it a little bit later to tell you exactly why I bought that specific one. Um, but $50 had a big play in it. If you're finding bedside tables for around that mark, $25 a, a piece, um, that's always going to be a pretty good sign that you're going to make some money because they typically range between $100 to $150. So I'm hoping I could make about 100 bucks on this bad boy, and I reckon I could. Um, it's got a bit of uniqueness about it, which I'm going to show you a bit later. Basically, I'll, I'll do all the buying this morning, and then I'll get back to the house, and I'll do some cleaning, um, and I'll polish up the furniture and, and obviously get it listed. So um, really happy with the first get, uh, first piece of furniture. We've got another one at 10 o'clock, so about an hour away. Um, but I'm going to go to a couple of op shops around the area because we are in the same suburb that uh, I'm picking up the second one from. So um, really good start to the day. Hopefully we find something in the op shop before we get our second piece. Let's get it. first op shop of the day locked away um this was an op shop that i don't typically find much in the way of value um, they typically overprice and tax a lot of their stuff a bit too much but um look i found two pairs of shoes you might have only seen the one that i had the footage of with those work boots they were oakley they were really good but you would have seen there was a glue line so they'd basically lost their sole and they'd been restuck together again they were only offering eight dollars i mean these sorts of shoes obviously they're going to be worth a fair bit maybe 60 70 dollars but i just think that oh, best I could have got was probably 20 bucks and I just didn't want to go through the trouble of the process um, so I've turned those ones down but there was one find and that was this guy so it was a large print keyboard um, it was boxed um, so it's four times larger print than a standard keyboard um, it is in good working order it's a USB port um, you know set up so it's a very easy um, to use and operate board um, I'll go home and try this one out, but I only paid $6.50 for it. So I, I didn't even do the comps when I was there because I thought the keyboard being an electronic item, it'd be worth more than the $6.50. And as you can see here, it certainly is worth a bit more. So I think this one will move pretty quick. I think I can get about the $25 um, plus postage on this one. Um, so there's a win there of about $15 after your eBay fees and taxes. So only a small one, but good to come away from something on the first op shop. Um, got a second piece of furniture to go and pick up now. So better get moving. Hey guys, I have the score two pairs of Nikes 
and a marble chess piece. Um, so it all came to 20 bucks and I reckon I could turn this into at least 80. So I've got to do a bit of research on the chessboard and the shoes I reckon I could probably make about 20 to $30. Typically with Nikes, that's what I turn them for. Um, the shoes were $5 each and the chessboard was $10. So kind of happy with stop number two. We've got a few things now, which is good. Let's keep moving to the next one. Say that I killed it but I've certainly got some stuff to show you uh, so there are three op shops in that run and I've come away with about six or seven items so let's get in the car and I'll take you through them okay so the first store that I went into um, some of the best range of shoes I have ever seen in an op shop at one time there, I mean there was Nike Under Armour New Balance um, Reebok Tommy um, oh man there was probably like seven or eight different shoe brands every single shoe was priced $25 or more I could have bought 10 of them but they were all $25 or more I had to pass on all of them for an op shop that was crushing um, but I did see in the op shop the same op shop with all those horrendously priced shoes two pairs of football boots these ones the exact same brand and make they are both Adidas they are Nitro Charge 1.0, really cool color tone. I like the look of those. Only $15. Now, I sold a pair of footy boots last night on Facebook Marketplace for $40, and they were very similar to these. So at $15, I thought, no worries at all. Um, again, black, but the same as the white ones. They are both Nitro Charge. Um, I'll put the comps up on them just here for you now, but I really do think that on Facebook Marketplace, I could push these for about $35, $40. Say they both went for $40. I've paid $30, flipped them into $80. That's $50. Bucks. So hopefully that's $50 worth of footy boots. Um, I'm always on the lookout for footy boots. And if they are out of ass like that, yeah, you're going to make a few. Um, I found that book that I showed you guys in the store. It was Star Wars. Look, I'm not one for books and I haven't sold too many. I'm slowly working on the books. Um, but I mean, Star Wars, this one's pretty good. It's 40 stories celebrating 40 years. So um, I reckon that's going to be a good book to get. Hopefully that one sells. Um, what else? So I got these um, Quicksilver board shorts. So this was a mix, um, really just bread and butter, Quicksilver, but also cross with the West Tigers footy club. That's an NRL team. Um, so these only cost me $3, but I really try and sell board shorts for $10. So Quicksilver, West Tigers, that'll that'll easily go for $10. Bucks. Um, really just a quick win. Um, again, another one, a really good pair, great quality um, pair of rip curl. Uh, board shorts as well. I paid $3 for those. With the board shorts, guys, I'll only spend $3, $4, no more than $5, and I'll always try and sell them for about 10 bucks. So it's a double your money type situation. You make about 7 bucks profit per pair. Um, we are in October at the moment, so or September, sorry. So we're, we're slowly working into the summer months. Um, so yeah, I, I figure just stock up on board shorts and they're eventually going to go for 10 bucks a pop as long as you're getting the right size, of course. Um, I also found in another op shop this FC Barcelona jersey. So it's, um, look, no means whatsoever authentic by any means, but a, a Barcelona tee in general, it's got a few markings on it, like the LFP. So there's a few things there that, that give it some form of credibility. FC Barcelona on the back. But look, man, I paid $6 for this. Everyone loves their Barcelona team at the moment. Um, you know, 15, 20 bucks max. I'm still thinking there's 10 to 15 bucks profit to be made there. Um, and then again, no means authentic, but when you find it, you grab it. I found this Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan jersey. Um, so number 23, really happy with this find. Um, only paid... So I only paid, it's got Jordan on the back. 
So I only paid, I think it was five bucks for this pair, uh, for this for this jersey. And it's a size medium. I would have liked it to have been a large or an extra large, but geez, look, not being authentic or anything, I think maybe, maybe 20, 25 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and I paid, yeah, a couple of dollars. So that's not too bad either. Um, so all in all, that was a good run. Um, I've got a few items there to get listed this afternoon, but I did want to get back to the house right now because I want to show you the furniture. I want to show you how I clean it. I want to show you how I polish it up and make it presentable for photos. So I'm going to whip back to the house, pull all the furniture out of the car here and uh, get cleaning. So let's go. Okay guys, so I'm back at the house and like I said, I wanted to show you a few of the pieces that I bought off Facebook Marketplace. This is the first one. It was the chest of drawers that I picked up first thing this morning at nine o'clock. Um, now when I'm looking for furniture, one of the first things I look for is a piece of something that's unique about it. I really thought that this was quite unique in the design. You don't often see these uh, in the chest of drawers. So that's a real unique part about it. Um, the wood, the quality of the timber, it's, it's really hard, solid, um, piece of wood. It's, it's very heavy to pick up. So I was always look for the weight uh, in the item when I'm picking it up. Um, the other one as well, I look for this feature. So this right here, that just shows it's a quality make. Um, it's called a tongue and groove um, make to the, to the drawers. So that just shows that it's a really quality piece of furniture when you can see that there is a tongue and groove to it. I really liked the detail that they've put into the sides. There's some real like timber boarding going on here. It's not just one big whack of wood. They've actually put some time and effort into making this um, quite a unique piece of furniture in that regard. Um, and all in all, there was no real marks, dents, scratches, anything. It, it, they're, they're in great nick. Um, I've, this is as is. I'm gonna spend the next 15 minutes cleaning them up and taking all the dust off them. But this was, the, I guess, the core reason for buying it. And then obviously the second reason is that it was in good nick third reason was that it only cost me $50, which is the biggest part of all of this. If these were $100, $120, I wouldn't have bought them. But basically I know that chest of drawers, they can generally sell for about $100 to $150. So if you can find something that's unique, got these features that I spoke of, and you're buying it for about the $50 mark or under, um, you're getting yourself an absolute bargain because people do know these features and they are looking for these type of features. And then if they are looking, then they're, they're happy to pay generally between $100 to $150. So it's always a very good win. Um, they're a great money maker, the chest of drawers. They can easily get into the car, which is another great thing. Um, you know, you can throw these in the back of the car. And they do pop up all the time on Facebook Marketplace, certainly around my area. You can get these pretty, pretty cheap and pretty regularly. Um, so I've got to obviously do a bit of cleaning now, but I thought I'd just show you that one. My first piece of furniture on Facebook Marketplace, the chest of drawers. The next piece of furniture that I've got for you guys was the desk that I was able to pick up off Facebook Marketplace for just $25, if you could believe. I've just done some research on it. It's an Ikea branded piece of, of furniture and it comes out at $300 if it's in perfect nick uh, in the shops. So I would say this is pretty much a nine out of 10 for, for quality. There's really not a lot wrong with it. There's obviously a bit of cleaning to do, take the dust off it. There's a bit of a, a stickiness to one part of the desk that I need to take off. Um, but apart from that, it's in perfect working order and it's a $300 desk that I picked up for $25. Um, so I'm gonna, what I do with furniture like this is I just, anything that's under 50 bucks, it's generally gonna go for a bit more. It's gonna go for about 100 to 150. This desk though, if it's coming out of $300 new, I'm probably gonna list it in the condition that it's in for $250 um, and try and make about 200, 220 bucks profit on this one. Um, a lot of people just wanna get rid of furniture really quickly. Um, it's, it's obviously, around their house, if, they, if they're moving, there's a clearance, um, people wanna get rid of some stuff really quickly and that's when you can strike. So I encourage you all to set a Facebook Marketplace alert on furniture. Um, obviously a car would, you know, a ute like I had today is, is gonna get the job done with this one because it is a bigger piece. The chest of drawers you can easily put in the back of a car, but if you do have a bigger vehicle or you can hire a vehicle, maybe look into the costs of that, um, getting these sorts of items are a big money maker, $200 profit on a desk that I really don't need to do too much work to. So item number two from a pickup sense, that was a good one today.
three o'clock, guys. The day has really got away from me. I've um, done a lot of cleaning. Luckily, those two furniture pieces have come up an absolute treat. So they will get listed this afternoon and hopefully they sell over the weekend. Um, what I always like to do, as I'm sure you know if you've watched the uh, previous episodes, is I go out and I grab all my items and I like to come back and I like to sit down and list it all into my inventory tracker. Um, so I'll just basically list out the item description, what it is, how much I bought it for, um, and then just keep it as a log so that when it sells, I can put in just the sold price and it works out my profit for me straight away. Um, that way I'm not having to sort of catch up all the time. I just do it when I buy it, when I get home, input it into the system, and then obviously I don't have to worry about it from then on. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, I've got what, 10 to 12 items that I bought this morning, so I'm gonna put all those in. And then I'm gonna begin listing because I really wanna try and get them all listed up this afternoon as well. Guys, so I've just crunched the numbers. I've put everything into the system here. I've got all of my receipts that I like to keep on hand and, and obviously keep the tax man happy. Um, but what everything came to today was a collective cost of $161.50. Now, when you take out the cost of the furniture that I bought, because obviously that's a bit of a discrepancy, everything in the op shops today cost me an average of $7.20. So for the 12 items that I was able to buy for a $7.50 spend, I know items like this are certainly worth a whole lot more than $7.20. So it's great to put it into the system because it gives you context on what you've actually bought and how low you've bought it for. There's two things that I buy my items with regard to, and that is, can I make double my money? So the 50-50 strategy that I speak of, can my item at $5 turn into a $10 or more sale price? And if it does, then it's more likely chance that I'll buy it. The second one is the sales cycle. Does this item potentially sell within the space of a month? If it's over a month on, on time, then I typically won't buy it. But if I think that I can move it relatively quickly and for double the price, then I'll, I'll generally go ahead and buy. So I'm comfortable after putting everything into the system here and seeing the average price of just $7.20 that I'll, I'll make quite a bit of money off, this, off these purchases today. Um, the other two items that I bought were a total of $75 for the two pieces of furniture. The chest of drawers were 50 and the desk was 25. So when you add it all up, today I've spent $161 for 14 items. So the desk, I believe I'll sell for 150, so that's $100 profit. And um, the chest of, sorry, the chest of drawers for $150 and the desk is $250. So I think collectively I'll make about $300 on the furniture and then everything on the, on the op shops, I'll, I'll make at least, you know, double or, or triple my money, um, you know, per each buy. So really important to get your numbers into the sales tracker to keep track of it all. And um, yeah, from now on, we just need to list the items and hope that they sell pretty quickly. Well, it's five o'clock now, guys. It's been a monster day. It's uh, been a full eight hours of non-stop working. So been able to find those really cool items in the op shop. Um, got 12 of those, got those two pieces of furniture. Um, I've cleaned them all up, I've listed them. Um, hopefully we'll get some bites pretty soon and maybe even on Sunday I can put it into a what sold video to, uh, to show you how quickly these furniture pieces can really move. If you do have any questions regarding furniture, obviously feel free to comment below. I might even put a video out that goes into it a little bit more and shows you, I'll show you the cleaning products I use and all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, it's a real money maker and today I really wanted to get through to you the point that you, know, you really should be looking for furniture items on Facebook Marketplace and um, and really trying to just do them up into their best condition and, and try and flip them for a few dollars because that's where you're going to make a lot of money. Um, but yeah, hope you've got a bit out of it today, guys. It's uh, It's been a big day. I'm, I'm going to finish off the last couple of listings that I've got to do. But um, yeah, thanks for coming along for the ride. And remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I, I do appreciate everybody that watches every single minute of this channel. Um, and I'm trying to just bring you the best quality uh, content I can. So any recommendations or considerations, let me know. Um, but yeah, until then, look forward to catching you in the next episode. Thanks, guys.